it can be also a tedious task of analyzing and finding the source of various work order variances. With work order clause and workbench that you see on my screen, user ID and password. And here are all my open QM orders. Some of the lines highlighted that helps me to um, indicate the work orders that I need to pay attention to. For example, the those are lines that are not active more than a certain number of days. Amounts highlighted in yellow, these are my variances that exceed amount I specified here. Here I said that, okay, I want to highlight all, all variances that are plus minus uh, $500. And for each QM order, I see QM ID, I see the quantity received for the QM order. For example, here I see scrap, I see setup labor variance, setup burden, and my total variance is um, $105. Okay, here, so this is my QM variance, and this is um, labor usage variance, and if you scroll down, so this is total cumulative variance, and it matches total quantity produced, the quantity scrapped, the, um, for each operation, what components have been used for each operation, if how much scrap was reported at each operation. And this way, these uh, reports help me to identify the source, basically, of those variances that I see here. Also, the VAP balance, again, shows me this is what will, I will most likely see in my general ledger on my VEP account, and I will know the source of that amount of details to get more information about the item. And I can look at the uh, cost report. There is a control or security, another security check. So you won't accidentally close what's not supposed to be closed. And you are aware how much variances uh, you agree on. And so here, when you're closing, you need to specify total number of work, work, work orders to be closed and total variances that uh, you will be closing. If uh, variance doesn't match and I will attempt to close, I will try to close the um, errors so will show up, the number doesn't match with the total number of work orders I'm closing. I will try to close orders. Again, the number now match, matches, but Q variance is, is different, like 16 million in my case. So I need to specify it here just to confirm that, yes, I want to close this work order. You'll be able just from one spot to collect a lot of information about work order. So the same calculation here as in work order account and closing function. Okay, for example, this is the discrete work orders with some VAP balance. I can just select and click on VAP cost report. You can see what what was happening on the uh, work order, how much have been issued. You see that the uh, quantity sits in the operation 15. If you want to close the work order, you can select this work order. Uh, no variance is specified. I will click on close. This will assign work order status to change work order status to C because that's how discrete or standard work orders are closed in QED. And if I will re download that work order disappeared from my list. It, it won't show up because its status has been changed to um, closed. 